Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to pose your way to the perfect impact. Hey guys, Eric here at the Bethlehem Golf Club. I want to talk to you today about posing your way to the perfect impact. Now, I'll explain what I mean in a minute, but first, before we dive in, for those of you who aren't able to make it for in person lessons, we would love to work with you through CagornoGolf.com. CagornoGolf.com is our online community, our online membership full of golfers like you and myself looking to improve. It's how you can send me your swing videos and how I can personally coach you to your improvement. As a premium member of GorgonoGolf.com, you get access to our Facebook group where you can post up your swing videos and myself and the coaches at GorgonoGolf.com will help you identify your priorities and work with you through the process of improvement. You also get access to all of our master classes. You get access to the member library, the quick fix section, the practice section, and everything on the site. We'd love to see you at GorgonoGolf.com. We'll include a link in the description down below. Okay, so let's talk about how to pose your way to the perfect impact position. Something we talk about all the time is the ability to understand where you're trying to go. And we think trying to get to a good impact position, if you do it automatically, that's great. But if not, we want to make sure your brain's aware of where you're trying to get to. Just like setting a plan from traveling to point A to point B or accomplishing a certain goal within a business, life, finances, whatever, you want to have a clear idea of where you're trying to go so you can map out a plan to get there. I think some golfers have a very good idea of what impact should look like, but maybe don't understand what it's supposed to feel like. And that's the purpose of this video is, if you're struggling getting a good impact position, whether that be having the shaft forward or having your body open or transferring weight or whatever the issue may be, we wanna make sure, uh, sure here that first you understand what you're trying to do, part one, but more importantly, beyond that baseline understanding that you know how to feel what you're trying to do. Now, before we dive into this, I'm gonna preface this with hopefully you guys have watched other videos and you know that you need feedback when you're doing this stuff, okay? So I could give you feels or describe how things are supposed to be, but that never lasts over time because your feels and you will evolve and change. So as you're doing these impact poses, at minimum, have a mirror in front of you. At absolutely minimum, use your phone. Ideally, you'd have a live view set up where you could see yourself as you're doing it. Okay, I think if you're serious about practicing, that's how you should practice. So as you're doing these impact poses, don't just guess and do it. Get your feedback up in front of you. Now, how are we supposed to feel the impact? Well, I've seen a video from Kelvin Mia here, who some of you guys may know him, uh, may not, and he's posted a lot of great golf videos over the past really 10 years or so. And he posted a drill about how to feel the impact, and I wanna share that with you today. Here's how the drill goes. It's just three or four simple steps. If I take my normal setup, I'm gonna take my club, and I'm gonna get the club up over my right shoulder. So I'm sort of laying it right on my like collarbone or trap area. Have the club on my right shoulder. That's step one. Now step two is I'm gonna turn my body towards the target. When I say turn my body, I mean turn everything. Turn my hips, turn my chest, turn my shoulders, turn everything. So really the sense I get when I'm doing it is I'm trying to get myself as open as possible while still keeping my right foot on the ground. Now of course, okay, I'm okay if that comes off a little bit and your right foot comes up, but just for the sake of the drill, I'm sort of keeping my right foot down, I'm turning everything towards the target, that's step two. Step three from here is we gotta to get to the golf ball. And part of that is I need to make my right shoulder go down towards the ground. So that would be part number three. I'm getting my right shoulder closer to my right hip. I'm feeling an ab or sort of an oblique crunch. That would be step three. Step four is I'm gonna turn my head down to the ball and get my club down to the ball while maintaining those pieces I put in, which means I'm keeping my body as open as possible and I'm keeping that bend in my right side. I don't go like this and then just go, okay, impact, right? Okay, I keep this here, I'm tilted down, I'm gonna turn my face down, and I'm gonna get my club down, but I'm feeling like my pelvis is still way open, my rib cage and my chest are open, and I've got a lot of side bend. Now, you see what happened here. Here was me with my shoulders way open. This is why on video it doesn't look like your shoulders are way open because as I need to get down to the ball, I need to bring my shoulder in to be able to get to the ball. I'm still way open with my rib cage, but it looks like my shoulders are more square. My left arm is visible above my right arm from down the line. My trail arm is bent, handle is forward, face is square. That's what impact is supposed to feel like. Now, if you do that, and you get yourself to an impact position and that feels really weird or different, 
that's a really good telltale sign that you currently don't have a good impact position, okay? If that feels drastically different, those feels you have to get there, okay, are gonna be the feels that you need to do when you actually hit balls. So let's go through that one more time, then we'll talk about how to practice. I stand next to the ball, doesn't matter if I'm in posture or not, I get my club head on my right trap or just over my right shoulder here, or collarbone. I turn my body towards the target, step two, everything, hips, chest, shoulders. I bend my right shoulder down closer to my right hip. So I'm getting that really close to my right hip. How far down? Pretty, pretty darn far down. Probably pretty close to the maximum. I feel a stretch on my left side, a crunch on my right. I turn my face down towards the ball and then I get the club down towards the ball while maintaining the integrity of those body positions. And that's more or less what I'm looking for my impact position to feel like. Now what I feel here compared to normal is more right side crunch than normal. I feel my right arm more low and bent than normal, and I feel my left hip more back than normal. And you know why I feel those? Because normally I have trouble with those, okay? I have a problem with getting those. I normally don't have those. That's good for me to feel. Now I'm very clear on what I'm trying to execute. I've seen hundreds of golfers produce those same positions, so I'm committed to those. I've got a field. Now the next phase of this is replicating that feel. So what am I gonna do? Well, I'm gonna practice this and pose this so I have that, and then I'm gonna try and get myself back to that spot while hitting a shot. Am I gonna grab a seven iron and do a full swing, full speed, without video feedback on the next ball and just see if it works? No, absolutely not. I'm going to have video on. I'm going to have a short iron. I'm going to do a half swing at best and make sure that I do the movement properly, okay? If I hit it, great. Better when I'm doing that, great. If not, that's fine. I might be some other pieces off. You need to give yourself feedback and start short and slow. So what we do is you'll go normal setup. We'll go through it one more time. Club over the shoulder, turn, right shoulder down, face down, get to the ball. That's what my impact feels like. Good, that's what I feel like. Now I'm going to take my normal setup. And from my setup position, now I'm gonna try and get back into that. So I just did that rehearsal. From my setup, I'm going back into that. So I feel the same things. From here, I'm feeling my left hip go back. I feel my right side crunching, my handle forward, my right elbow more under my left elbow here. So I'll do that a couple of times, boom, here. And I'm trying to hit a shot, and I'm trying to get back into that impact. Now I hit that really good. I felt like I was more tilted over and turned and under. Was I as far as I felt? Maybe not. Again, I'm not gonna guess, okay? I'm gonna have my video up. If I were really practicing right now, I would walk back and check that, see where I need to make adjustments and come back in. Maybe I'd use a model of a good ball striker at impact to look at the differences and then I'd come back in. I'd do the same thing. I take my normal setup, I do the drill, club over, turn, right shoulder down, face down and at the ball. What does that feel like? Okay, good. Take my normal setup, rehearse those same feels once or twice to get a feel of what that feels like. Then I'm going to hit, trying to produce the same exact movement. And then again, I check on video, guys. There's no magic here. You're not judging yourself based on that first ball. If you hit it, great, great, but you're looking for video feedback. If you don't know how to identify all those, as always, we can help you at cagornogolf.com. Hopefully this makes sense. Putting impact poses in is really good for anyone, okay? The only player where those sort of feels maybe aren't the best for is if you're a guy who hangs back and is way over the top, whatever. You gotta see where you're at and make adjustments. But that's a really great baseline feel. If you guys have any questions, as always, leave a comment down below. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. If you liked the video, do us a favor, click the like button down below. Click the notification bell. Also, please subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.